Hello, welcome to the gospel. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting message, faith content, and video that will help you to grow your spiritual life. Remember, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more new video updates. But let me tell you something. Apology and repentance are not the same. So the Bible doesn't talk about apology but repentance. Apology is only an expression of desired repentance. It doesn't mean that you have repented when you apologize. Secondly, that you have apologized for an error does not mean you should not be punished. Because sometimes the punishment is important for you. And so, though you apologize for your error, when you're punished, you should say, I got what I deserved. Because you apologized. Don't get offended that you were punished after you apologized. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes, especially... Uh, in this country, it's one of those things I've observed a lot of people, when they apologize, they think that the apology means everything is settled. So when you punish them, after the apology, they get offended. And so, so when you ask, why are you offended? Well, you did something wrong. Say, but I apologized. They think that the apology is a payment for their wrong. No, that is horribly wrong. Apology is no payment for wrong. Sometimes they say, I take full responsibility for the, for the wrong. I take full responsibility. Okay, you take full responsibility? That means you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. If it costs money, you're going to pay it. If there's some, some punishment for it, you're liable. So, don't say, I apologized. When you apologize, you're only signifying a willingness to repent. It does not mean you should not be punished. It does not mean you should not be punished. When I was beginning uh, training our staff members, there were some things I used to explain to them. Now, I, I would bring that to you now. I would say to them, this is an administrative office. Jesus Christ forgives your sin. Pastor does too. But administration does not forgive. I would say because there are administrative procedures. I would say when you did your exams in school and missed the answers, wrote the wrong things for the answers, were you forgiven? No. Because exams don't forgive. It's Jesus who forgives. He can always perform a miracle for you anyway, like he performed for that pastor, where his phone that should be seized became an offering. And finally, God had to buy it with 500,000 naira. Isn't that amazing? It doesn't happen like that to everybody. Maybe the way, the reason it happened, I've asked myself why. Maybe it's something about him. Probably is something about him. Doesn't happen like that to everybody. Abraham looks at the at Sodom and says, Oh God, this is wonderful. You burnt everything. Mrs. Lot looks back and turns into a pillar of salt. Can you imagine? They're looking at the same thing. One is blessed and the other is cursed. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you, but don't forget to subscribe.